you for the beginners. As long as he's here on his knees, his base isn't bad. But so go past me on your knees. No, stay on your knees. It's going to take a long time. You can't, sh you can't just shuffle. You can't really pass. So sooner or later, in order to get mobility, he has to post the leg. And as soon as he does, I take my outside hook and I insert it. Remember how we want to make this natural? I don't want to twist my leg. I simply point my toes up, jiu-jitsu feet, right? And I let them sit on my instep. It's a very natural groove here, very natural place I'm creating, okay? So we talked about basic sweeps. I control the sleeves in the beginning here, and I start sweeping him over here, over there. And then we dealt with what happens when he puts pressure on me. A lot of guys come forward and crowd you. We just talked about it a moment ago. Remember this? How I was pushing a little bit with my foot, then I put my foot on the mat, and as he comes in, I basically lift them up and sweep him. It's very powerful, it's so easy, he comes right on top of us. So today, we want to deal with our opponent in my De La Hiva guard that's not coming forward. As long as he comes forward, he's helping me to pick him up. But we're dealing with somebody who's sitting very firm in place, either or oh, it actually starts moving back a little bit. He's making base here, removing himself from it. The problem with the De La Hiva guard, with all guards, is as long as he comes a little forward, he's in his base position here and he's well anchored. I can't just throw him around and sweep him. I could only do that if I'm a lot stronger than him. Technically, they're still in equilibrium because he still is on a well defensive footing and I haven't opened up yet. I, I do have a guard on him and I've got a position. But I can't start sweeping him instantly just because I have this position. He wouldn't allow me to get there. So that's, but when he starts moving back, things are changing. He's getting out of balance a little bit. He moves back. But even more, this side here is wide open now. See, here's what I want to do. It's very simple, guys. If the center here is crowded, I just kick my leg out, swing it around, put it on his bicep, and kick. I still have everything hooked. From here, I'm holding onto the sleeve. I retrieve my feet. Here, checking his knees, coming around and pass. We do this one more time. Every time he's in my guard, I control his sleeves and he starts backing out. His space on the inside now, I put my foot right on the shoulder. I get this hook straight up and again, I'm creating momentum. I kick a little bit, but that alone just brings him about here. I'm creating momentum by rocking over my left shoulder here. I'm scooting a little bit forward with my legs. Coming up, I keep his feet, his hands together on his chest. I can follow up on the knee right, or I can go and come down to side one, one last time. Post, I hook, swing on the inside. If it's busy here, I swing on the outside, kick him over here, control, come up, and gain crossing.